paint those socks too pink. I'm Matilda. Lavender. I'm Hortensia. Hi. Hi. She doesn't really hit children with that Rylan crop, does she? No, it's mostly for scare. What she does is worse. Like yesterday, the second grade, the trunchbull makes a weekly visit to every classroom to show the teachers a thing or two about handling kids. And Julius Routwinkle ate two M&Ms during her lesson. And she caught him? Of course. Was Julius okay? After being thrown out the window? Of course he wasn't okay. He lived, if that's what you mean. No. The Trunchbull used to be in the Olympics. Shot put, javelin, hammer throw. The hammer throw's her specialty. So she does this all the time? It's better than being put in the chokey. Chokey? Yeah, the chokey. It's a tall, narrow hole in a wall behind a door. You have to stand in a drippy pipe with jagged edges, and the walls have broken glass and nails sticking Get out. Inside, you festering ball of ass! She puts kids in there? I've been in twice. Sometimes she leaves you in there all day. But didn't you tell your parents? They didn't believe me. I mean, would your parents believe it? 60 lines after school. I must obey Miss Trunchbull. No. Out of my way. Here she comes. Ah, fresh meat. Mm. Amanda Thrip. Yes, Miss Trunchbull? What are those? What's what, Miss Trunchbull? Hanging down by your ears. You mean my pigtails? Are you a pig, Amanda? No, Miss Trunchbull. Do I allow pigs in my school? My mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is a twit. You'll chop those off before school tomorrow, or I but, will come around. But! I but! Can't. Did you say but? Hammer throw. What? Definitely. I'll give you but. <laughs> <laughs> To make the fence? Can we close one? <laughs> Quiet! Get to class before I throw you all in a choke What's my teacher like? Run, run, run! Faster! Get in! Quickly! My idea of a perfect school is one in which there are no children at all. <laughs> Do you agree, Miss Honey? Now, you. Front of the class. Tell you to empty your pockets, you'll do it faster, won't you? Excuse me, Mr. Trunchbull. Miss Honey, this could be the most interesting thing you've ever done. Sit down, you squirming worm of vomit. Thank you, Miss Trunchbull. Can you spell? Miss Honey taught us how to spell a long word yesterday. We can spell difficulty. You couldn't spell difficulty if your life depended on it. She taught us with a poem. A poem? How sweet. What poem would that be? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I, Mrs. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y. Why are all these women married? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, you're supposed to be teaching spelling, not poetry. <sighs> Can't 
for the life of me understand why small children take so long to grow up. I think they do it deliberately, just to annoy me. What's funny? Hmm? Come on, spit it out. Speak up. I like a joke as well as the next fat person. You look like you enjoyed that, Brucey. Yes, you must have some more. Uh, no thanks. But you'll hurt Cook's feelings. Huh? Cookie! <laughs> she made this cake just for you to have on your very own. Her sweat and blood went into this cake, and you will not leave this platform until you have consumed the entire confection! <laughs> entire confection? See you at lunch. Thank you, Cookie. Rotten kids. You wanted cake, you got cake. Now eat it! Most great ideas come from hard work and careful planning. Of course, once in a while, they just jump out at you. Raina, Raina, cover the birds and the beetles. Hurry, hurry! I hear her coming. Okay, now, last time, some of you forgot yourselves. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. Don't laugh, don't smile, don't even breathe loudly. Don't breathe at all! Morning, Miss Trunchbull. Morning, Miss Trunchbull. Morning, Miss Trunchbull. Sit! Shoo. I have never been able to understand why small children are so disgusting. They're the bane of my life. They're like insects. They should be got rid of as early as possible. 